you asked me to do a video of putting my lashes on. So here I am. I will show you guys start to finish what I do. And this is how I start out, you guys. I have barely, barely anything there. There's some, but they're really little. I'm definitely not a beauty blogger, so bear with me while I amateur my way through this. These are what I'm gonna be using today, and they're the Ardell and the Wispies. These come in a five pack and they're like 12 bucks at Walmart. Perfect. I'm also gonna be using the Duo Glue. Um, this is actually my second preference for glue, but the one I love, they um, don't make anymore. Go ahead and open up your lashes, and then I'm gonna use a pair of blunt end tweezers. And I never use my fingers to get them off of here. I always use a pair of tweezers um, and carefully just so I don't get oils from my fingers on the lashes um, as well as uh, I don't squish them and I don't pull them and I don't pull individual hairs off. So I just find it a little bit easier using um, blunt end tweezers. And so I start from the corner edge. Sorry, I'll try to show. And I simply just peel up and this is why I did this on the white background, so you can see. Um, I have my lash here, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the lash in between my two fingers, and I'm going to roll it to break up, oops, to break up the glue um, that had been sitting on in the package. So literally just roll it between your finger and your thumb, and this is going to give an arch to the eyelash, um, which matches your eye, because our eyelashes are not, our eyes are not totally flat. And you'll notice now that it has much more of an arch to it. And now, um, I, I mentioned this before, but if you have smaller eyes, um, or if you don't want a full strip, you can line this up with your eye and cut it accordingly. So cut from, you can cut for a little bit off the beginning and then you can cut a little bit off the end. Notice that these ones that I bought, um, you can put glue on these and they're sticky already. Notice that, sorry, it's hard to see, these ones I bought have a longer tail and a shorter. That's what you want in an eyelash because you don't want big, huge, massive ones poking off um, the front of the corner of your eye. And basically, I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just gonna run a tiny little bead along it. Without the bubble. And usually just squish a little bit out and then I can run, run the bead along the lash line here. And I try to focus a little bit more on the ends because I am leaving these on longer than single use. So I try to get a little bit more on the end and get a really good bead of glue on there. And now we wait. Now that your glue has dried a little bit on the lash, um, I'm going to take my blunt nose tweezers again. I'm just gonna use the tweezers to help put it on my lash because I have nails. And so getting them in there and getting it adjusted right um, can be tough. So I do like to use a blunt nose tweezer and I don't use a sharp nose tweezer because if you slip, that shit will poke you in the eye. So I'm gonna, because I'm doing this eye here, I'm going to use the tweezers to help put it on the inside of my eye. When I switch to the other hand, because I'm right-handed, it helps me get on the other side. So this is how I do. And I'm gonna go from the top and I'm gonna kind of comb my real lashes down. And then I'm basically just going to take this lash line, the fake lash line and glue and basically put it right against my natural lashes. Hold it there for a minute. You'll see it come up a little bit there, that's okay. I will mention that this is really hard to do into the camera. I have a mirror beside me, but it's really tough. <laughs> Look at 
it. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm going to help position the lash and put it into my natural lash line. You can give it a little bit of a swipe up and you can see where it sits in your natural lash line and if you do have any gaps, you can literally just take the end of your finger and push from the top of the lash and just push, push it in so where it naturally sits and feels comfortable. One of my other tricks is with the blunt nose tweezers is I like to go in on top of my faux lash that are sitting there and my real lashes and I like to kind of clamp them together. I think doing this is how I get um, a really natural look and how people don't notice that I have a strip lash on. Sometimes you'll need to clean off your tweezers if you get a bit of glue on there. You don't want to continue to clamp the rest of it and get eyelashes stuck to your tweezers. I'm actually clamping the faux lash line into my natural lashes. You can see, you can still see the white glue there. That will dry clear. And as they dry on my lash, I like to just give them a little, little prim. Voila. No lash. So I'm going to do the other side now. And I do the same thing. Oh, there you have it, is putting on my lashes. Now, I do have one extra tip for you guys, and this is totally, um, you don't have to do this, but I like the way that it looks and it lasts me. Uh, do take a little bit of mascara. Um, I usually only do this once I actually put the lashes on. I don't really put this on the rest of the week. Um, so I prefer to use a waterproof just because I find it smudges less. Um, but you could use any. So I'm gonna give you guys a drugstore option and a Sephora option. Um, either of these, this isn't a waterproof one, but I do really like the fluffy brush on it. Um, but this one is waterproof, works just as great. I will show you guys with this one. Take my brush and I make sure that I wipe a lot of the excess off. Not just excess mascara, but there's extra excess gunk in your mascara tube too. Um, so just go ahead and brush it off so you have a really light coating on your brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the lash line and I'm going to wiggle and pull up and what this is going to do is it's going to blend my natural lashes in with the faux lashes and help them keep up a little bit. Notice I'm focusing more on my natural lashes than actually putting mascara on the faux lashes. So I will do a close up so you can see. You can kind of see the difference already versus the one that has no mascara and the one that has mascara. I will do the other side now. that is putting on my fake lashes. Now, sometimes I like to put a little bit of eyeliner on. It helps hide the lash line. Um, usually I only do a little bit of eyeliner if I'm going out to a party or an event or I want to look a little bit extra, but sometimes it's nice just to hide any little imperfections that you do have. And it's something that you can remove nightly with a Q-tip um, or the pointy end of a face cloth. So again, I'll show you guys um, this is my drugstore buy. It is the NYX collection. And this I love, which is um, the tattoo, um, dagger tattoo eyeliner from Kat Von D. So I'm not gonna be putting those on now because I don't feel like being a little extra. But you guys, that's how I do my lashes. Um, a few tips. 
is I sleep a certain way, so I sleep on the very, very, very edge of my pillow so my lashes aren't being crushed or squished. Um, I also shower and wash my hair and I always have my hair, my head really far back and I usually put my hands here to keep um, the water from going in my face when I wash my hair. And then I wash my hair, uh, wash my face nightly using a face cloth and a foaming cleanser. And I'm just really careful to go around my eyes and I usually don't have anything on the lids of my eyes either, so they're not somewhere that I generally have to scrub and wash. Um, so I think it is really easy, and I don't think there's much difference than going and getting extensions from your local gal, although those are great. I can replace these on my dime and on my time. Thanks for watching.